Hello. So, <laughs> it was uh, well, one of those days. So I made the vertical uh, contraption. Like, uh, you know, rotated the base portions 90 degrees. They look nice. Nothing wrong here. This one had a few marks already, but yeah, I tested the right one and then I wanted to, <clears throat> I did the same with the left one. And I was all standing there and I was wondering about this thing might not be able to hold it. So I had to balance it like standing up straight so there's no strain on, on this. I mean, it cannot like, you know, have too much weight on, on it sideways. And then, uh, well, of course, uh, something happened that I happened that I was afraid of, which is this. So it fell over all the weight of this, uh, well, this thing ended up on the back side of this panel. And since, the, since this panel does not have a metal back plate or something, it, it's like floating, floating magnets. I can then show you. They were not great to begin with, but it's the only thing I had. The whole thing looks like shit actually, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, you can see the half-ass damping I did. But yeah, magnets broke. I'm not sure if that's in frame. Hmm. So the magnets broke, which is a shame, and uh, protruded through the membrane. So the membrane is fucked. So it's it's there's no way of salvage, uh, salvaging this, and these are just also screw, which is kind of a uh, yeah too bad. I mean, of course, the work is the biggest problem. I mean, these magnets were two euros a piece or something. So that's not a big deal. I mean, it's 12 euros then. No, six euros. So not that money. But uh, yeah, it also fucked up the foil on the other side. So, and you know, these were not like, yeah, so it's like broken here. This one is fucked. Um, yeah, so in fact, the, the breaking it is not a huge problem, but I didn't have a chance to test it. That's the only thing I was annoyed by. That and I really enjoyed the sound, so I just wanted to listen to some music once more, but that's not an option. But on the other hand, if I look at this contraption, like I used the same piece of wood because I didn't have anything that could bolt these two together. But it looks so shit that I really... Yeah. I don't really mind. Except for I'm not able to listen to it or just test it. So these are fucked. And next time I wouldn't use like a 7 micron foil for the mid planer. Can be much heavier. So yeah, mm, I only got one speaker left uh, and I did measure that, uh, I did measure that one compared to the left one, which was still in the original form, but that's not, I should have done a measurement of the panel on the right side before I converted it like uh, vertical and then did a measurement and that's what I didn't do. But I wanted to do with this one because I did make a measurement of this one before I converted it to vertical. But then this happened. Just I wanted to sit on the couch, wanted to check something and then the whole thing fell over. And I was like, no. And then uh, yeah, 
this uh, stand like fucked everything up. So well, that's it for for these. <laughs> I have to new make a new mid range mid panel, uh, treble mid range panel, like tweeter mid range. The rest is all fine, but if I do, then I might as well make it look a little bit better. I think. But I, I doubt. Well, I had a lot of doubts about this. I mean, it works pretty well. It meshes really well. Well, it should be easier. Not easier, actually, but with a metal backplate, that would be easier. Since if it had a metal backplate, then this would not happen. Now the uh, stand, this one, just went through the magnets and they broke. And then the whole thing collapsed. So, yeah, and there was some uh, imperfections as in uh, how close the magnets were towards the membrane uh, compared from this one to the other one. So they were not usable in a proper setup. I mean, I can adjust everything in the DSP, of course, so I can make it work. Uh, but I knew I had to make something new that is the same. Because if you want to go passive, for instance, you're not going to like compensate for stupid things like distance from magnet to foil. Uh, so yes, Th these were temporarily, so now they're fucked. So this is a good reason to make something new, I guess. Um, and oh, yeah, I noticed some things that the mid range is far more efficient than the tweeter. So uh, I probably will end up uh, spacing the magnets outwards. It creates a less nice field for the mid range, but it doesn't really matter. And hopefully I can ditch two magnets on each side. And still have the same surface area. And uh, so it will still play as low as it did now, but less efficient. Which is fine, because it's far more efficient than the tweeter, which I don't need. So that's an option. And in this case, I broke three magnets. And if I would do what I had in mind, I will save four magnets so I can still use the other magnets to do that. But it does mean I have to make a, either I have to make a metal backplate or I have to use some perforated sheet. And I believe perforated sheet should work as fine. Especially for the mid range, it doesn't really matter. For the tweeter, it might inflict some uh, cavity resonances, which I don't hope. Another thing is that the tweeter, in this case, so let me show you the back side. It's messy, I know. So there is no metal, and here, uh, the tweeter magnets which uh, uses double magnets, so it's four millimeters, and the material is, in this case, I believe five, but uh, normally I would use three if I use a metal backplate. And that means that uh, the magnet distance from tweeter magnets to mylar is like two millimeters, which is way too much. I mean, you need more efficiency in the tweeter, and it's also possible because the excursion in the tweeter is almost nothing but if I use like double magnets which is four millimeters in total uh, it will be sitting against the ma uh, membrane which is not good and the mid-range magnets will be away one millimeter which is fine so I actually need different magnets it would be nice to have three and a half millimeter magnets thickness which is not a size that I ever seen. So I have to go with either two or three, but three millimeter magnets are usually wider, which I don't like. So there's kind of a problem there. Or I should have them custom be custom made or something, but that's not something I want to be fair. Well, at least I broke some of these which is too bad. These were nice. 
very large magnets. Mm. Ooh, is this one alive? It's alive. It might be. So I might actually only broke two and I might break the third one. How is this possible? This is half. Yeah, the one is alive. How? <laughs> oh, well. Uh, so these. Very long neodymium magnets. Three millimeters thick. Five wide. A very nice magnet. So I only lost two. Hmm, that's nice. That's doable. Ah oh well. I don't have time to fix this uh, in the upcoming weeks. Because I have to clear a house. But uh, after that, I can like, you know, I have all the time and I am... Uh, you know, chill, chilled out a little bit, and I can just do whatever I want. So I'm gonna make some new ones, something like this, but different, and maybe with metal. Maybe I'll cut it on my plasma, or maybe I'll cut it on. Maybe I'll let it cut at a laser. I don't know, or maybe I ditch the whole metal idea to begin with. I mean, this is already too efficient for my goal. I mean, normally people like efficiency, but. I tend to make things as efficient as they need to be, you know, monies uh, and space. So well, yeah, um, so this is how I <laughs> the vertical version sounds. Not at all. See you next time. Bye bye.